Hello and welcome to DTR Destiny's Talk and Review. I'm Shadow Killer, and on today's video, we're gonna go over um, the official Destiny 2 launch trailer that came up the other day, and um, it came out, I believe, on August the 22nd, which was funny for them to do so when they put out another mini trailer about the sun and gall taking away your light. I thought that was pretty funny um, and clever at the same time. But with this video, we're gonna go over um, what uh, things might have been missed or what hasn't been seen and just pointing out and kind of giving a, a general uh, info about the video. Now I did slow it down to about one third of its original um, speed just so then we can um, talk and view things in real time at the same time. So with that let's get started. So right now you can see that the console's on the left and Gaul is on the right travelers in the background. Now the console to me kind of reminds me of Palpatine, um, of like in the reminiscence of the Star Wars and Gaul is uh, Darth Vader. Uh, if this is kind of true, this would be kind of cool with this where the story is going. Right now you see the machine coming down and in the next scene you'll see the speaker. Um, he is captured so we will probably have to do um, a mission to save him. I don't think it'll be end game because that wouldn't be a, a good way to to do it because then you're going to lock out content for other people uh, and other players. So uh, obviously I think with this kind of storyline basis what we can see would be really cool if they went down this road because that means the story can be expanded on, it be it can be continued and there's there's a lot more things that people can look forward to in the um, in the story um, than what we already know right now. So I really hope this comes out and comes out in the way it's supposed to because it'd be really awesome if it did. So right now you can see that obviously uh, one of the towers is being attacked. Bombs are going off. You have the traveler up there, and this is probably just before. Yep, just before the uh, the Cabal Red Legion are attacking. You see their ships are coming into the frame right now, and you know the the little ships as well. And you got the big uh, the big one that's gonna, I believe, trap the traveler, open up, and suppress the light, um, so that we lose our powers. So now here you see Zavala, he is down. He's not looking, you know, joyful or happy at all. Seems like he's at his like is his last rope, and then um, he's walking. As he's talking to you, the character in this scene, I guess this is during a campaign mission, and I guess it's to be kind of like inspirational, I guess, a little bit. Um, but who knows? Because uh, right now we have the Cabal ship shooting some ships in front of a shard of a traveler. You see some light coming down to the ground. You don't know what that is. You see um, civilians are hurt and injured, and then you see the guardians walking in the rain. And it looks like you have a couple new kind of cloaks. You have some new, uh, that's a new shotgun we haven't seen. That's a hand cannon we haven't seen. That looks like the submachine gun that we've seen in the beta. That one on the left, the uh, weapon, doesn't look like anything we've seen. That kind of, that's the new sword. And that was a new hand cannon. And we have an auto rifle, it looks like, on the left with some new gear. This looks like a trailer, like a like in-game um trailer um, showing us what what's going to kind of happen that's Hawthorne with the sniper rifle and uh, there's K6 in behind if that's a real sniper that we can get that'd be pretty cool to have and there is Kate holding the chicken oh uh, you know there's um, there's uh, Gary and then you have Zavala and Ikora not looking at each other too good and then you have, looks like the Red Legion, you have the Guardians you know, coming out, it's going to be like a little brawl. You have a Vex helmet there, oh, that's pretty cool. You have Zavala attacking, and this is probably during a time when they don't, ha they don't have their light power either. So he takes, takes a gun, shoots it off at a Cabal, but then it cuts the scene of them on their sparrows. Now, they're zinging around, missing some bullets, and then Akoa Ray shooting a shotgun, and then they sideswipe and kill... Uh, one of the uh, cabals and now it goes to there's a horse in the background so obviously this is on the farm and then there's Cade you know agreeing that it's worth it 
and now it looks like we're on the Cosmodrome. Yeah, this would be the Cosmodrome. And now we are on one of the Vex planets. And you see that's an uh, Omelon hand cannon. That's auto rifle, looks like, from the... Uh, uh, the auto rifle that's from the Beta. You have a new rocket launcher. Looks kind of legendary. And then now you have the, the you know, the Titan, the uh, infamous Captain America. You have... Uh, now we have tanks. And that looks like a new scout rifle in the Titan's uh, hand, looks like. And then that's a grenade launcher taking out the Cabal shield while you have the Arc Strider on the left attacking and then destroys the Cabal and does his little twirl as the pole dancer should uh, to be all sexy. And then we have Gaul, infamous Gaul, just backhands you across the top of the deck of the ship, you slide away. And then you have Gaul, he's looking at the Traveler because he knows he's going to take your light away, which he does. We've seen that in a trailer. And now you have the grenade launcher hitting a, a Vex uh, Minotaur, it seems like. And this looks like an exotic weapon, um, grenade launcher, in my opinion. And the reason why there's such a big explosion is because, like they said in the past, that if you, uh, that Luke Smith said that if they detonate the uh, void on void or any elemental equal to the elemental. Um, it'll do an explosion. So now they're in, looks like a power station. And now we have the Titans putting up a barrier. And then we have one of the pikes come in, run over some of the, looks like dregs. And it looks like it has a little bit of color difference. Oh, Hunter. Hunter armor looks pretty cool. And he goes off. And now we're into the, the Vex area. So the Vex look like they're a little bit better redesigned, um, more a little bit more detailed and crisp on there. There's the exotic um, weapon from the Beta, and there is the Titan throwing the uh, shield. Ooh, the Warlock armor looks pretty cool. That looks almost legendary, yeah. There's the, uh, the linear fusion rifle from the Beta. There's the Rift coming down from the Warlock. Titan armor, that looks like an exotic helmet. Possibly because it is a little gold. And there's a dead orbit um, armor piece, and uh, there's Cade. He's doing what he's do, doing best, shooting his golden gun. And then now, from this point in perspective, it looks like the Cabal had the advantage in the cutscene and going to point a gun at you. That'd be interesting if that's us or Zavala. Um, and that right there looks like, oh. It's not the it's not the strike, but that that might be like a end game for loot. Um, yeah, I think that's end game for like one of the dungeons that you can get loot from. But that's a big little boss, and right here it's K six asking for a hug. That's really funny. He reminds me of Deadpool. Um, but yeah, I I personally think that you know this trailer is actually really cool, and. Uh, showing a lot of character of, of every character and then also you know don't forget if you did pre-order it you do get the cold heart um but yeah no i th i think i think this trailer it does show uh, a lot of what bungie has taken in inspiration from a lot of the community uh, of the community because like they want a story driven uh, game but they also want loot and you can see that the there's in each of the videos, it doesn't look like any armor is the same. It looks different. So just with so many cutscenes and different armors, I think that they are going to give us the uh, the loot that we want so it's different from each um, different kind so that we don't have the same ones or reskinned armor because it, it would be really cool if we did have that. Like I would much rather have a thousand individual um pieces of either weapons or gear for like you know your gauntlets your chest piece your um, your helmet and your boots or and different guns then having the same kind of thing just kind of reskinned hashed and uh, changed a little bit and not really like it it is new but it's not like it'd be better if each one's handcrafted like i wouldn't want to have one thing with numerous like let's say a hundred different types of rolls i'd rather have 
like a thousand things to collect and they're each like specific in their own role. I think that would be a lot better for the game itself. So, well, I kind of hope that what they do with this game would be really awesome um, because it, it will it'll be the turning point. I think this will be the game, game of the years to come if they can do what they are promising they can and it'll make a lot of uh, returning players and players that quit the game early um, to to come back to the game and give it another shot because like, I, I think this is a game that everyone should enjoy and everyone should have a chance to play because it's one of those games that it brings people together and people have a good time. It's like sitting down on the couch with your buddies and like, you know, watching the hockey game kind of thing, except instead you're playing Destiny. I think it's pretty cool. But that's going to be it for this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content. Hit the like button if you like the video and put a comment down below. Let's start up a chat. Let's get talking. Uh, I want to hear your thoughts uh, about the channel and about the video. And um, with that, take it easy, Guardians. Shadow out.